Hello guys, what's going on? It's Lemon King here and welcome back to another Minecraft episode and today we are doing something a little bit different and yeah. So I am here on my creative server and this creative server was the first server I ever made in Minecraft and that was back four years ago now, back in 2012, I'm thinking, 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. And this was the first server I had and I used it as my creative server and I still use it today and this is where I go to play Minecraft and build creatively and do what I want when I don't record so none of this is recorded none of this stuff is seen by you guys so it's definitely a little bit interesting to show now the reason I'm bringing this up is because I was doing some playlist organization and getting rid of some playlists and adding some new playlists and trying to get things a little bit more organized for you guys so if you go check out the playlist you'll see some new ones and a little bit more organized but that was just that but I saw one of my old videos back way back in like 2012 I guess 2012 2013 2013 my first year of YouTube I did a creative server tour and it was surprising to me how much stuff has changed since then so I just wanted to bring you guys into a little bit of a focus of what changed from it so there's a link there's gonna be a a spotlight on your screen right now if you want to go and check out the first episode and then come back here and see what's different so let's begin here at my main area this is not my spawn this is not where it spawned but this is the first mountain I came to and I decided to build a castle on it and I was thinking you know the shiny blocks and build my lemon castle and it's David's castle apparently so I named it but yeah Nice little castle I built here. This was my main land. It turned into water, lava. You got some roller coasters down here. Uh, this is like a little roller coaster deck. Got some like little huts down here and other portals. And animals are here. This is a little dock. And you can look out. You got the uh, mine carts that travel there. Going to this side of the building. Got some lava. You know, standard stuff. For the mine car tracks. This was supposed to be the underground palace but it didn't turn out that way and I was gonna work on it but I really never got to it and I started expanding off another direction so really didn't have any use for that a little villager hut over here backside more of the roller coaster the pink wool going down back of the castle some little pillars going around here little island over here and before we go over to the next area over here was my sister's land and that's just like a big ice, like water and lava all over the place on an ice biome. And over there was my neighbor's land before it got bombed by my cousin Nick. So yeah, that now that was her first land, and you also see what happened to her second land and her third land, all of which Nick had something to do with. So this is the minecart track that goes over to the basically the FBI agency. That's here what I built, a little FBI center goes down under water, as you can see, it goes down there down and there's like a little train track over to Catahoma Island now Catahoma Island was established December 7th 2012 and it was my first area so what happened was I wanted to build back where my first spawn point was and this time the game you spawned at zero zero so I went back to zero zero and put a little pillar at the first spawn point so I can memorize it because it could be like a memorial and I built a town there or like an island country thing and it's called Catahoma Island. Now, I remember this bridge, and this bridge took forever to put together. Because look at it. Look how long it is. Torches and wood and fence and everything. This island's a little villager island somewhere over here. Yes. It's a little villager island. Nothing special. But yeah, this is over into Catahoma Island. Now, this is all from the old video. Everything I'm showing you right now is from the old video. Nothing has changed from that. But, you know, let's take it back and reflect on all this stuff. Remember the lighthouse. Did have a there's a an animal butchery. Did have an animal farm here, but the animals kept escaping and stuff kept going wrong. And yeah, it just kind of here's a little boat, a little uh, castle. This is the most modernistic building that there is on Catahoma Island, which led into the other buildings on Pima Slavia, which I'll get to very soon. But it's the storage facility, pretty tall, pretty big. This little area here was for 
watching what I would do for like when I, before I went on vacation or New Year's or stuff like that. I build a big banner out here where this water is dug out. Pull the big banner up and then put TNT behind it and then blow it up for like a celebration and have villagers here and then let them go and then they would populate the land. So yeah, now this tunnel here goes down into the uh, canal and it was a ravine but I turned into a canal so this goes underneath everything all the way over and up the other side into here. Um, this building is the like jail jail and execution center which you, know, you can easily just get killed in here it used to be where you could actually just drop them but you know turn that into a canal. Uh, the president's building the president's place is the uh, actually what we'll do is uh, this will be easier to find stuff. This is the uh, congress area meeting hall uh, the governor should be in here, right? Yeah. Somewhere. No, no. Oh, there's the governor. There he is. <laughs> um, over here we got the weapons and armor factory. We got the school. This is the first spawn point. This is where it all started. Spawned right here. Didn't know what to do. Had no vision. Now you look around and this world is populated. Over here there is another land. That's why I built this out. There's another land over there, but I haven't gotten over there yet. Because... There's a little town right here, little village action going on right in here. The village. Nothing in here. There's a lot of went through a lot of mayors. Apparently we'll be on the eleventh one now. But yeah, they got the bank here, the first trash national bank. Redworks. High fine high high stuff. High finance. Hmm. Glass building here. Now this is the bigger of the towns. It's more of like a little city like area. Ashash. I don't even know how to say that. But you got more civilization going on here. Hotels and stuff. It's a little packed. Uh, you got the meeting hall and the church. City gas, yeah, city hall. I want to hear the church. Bomb shelter. Some other stuff. Hotels. Church of Herobrine. Um, this was a building that was heavily populated. The, the ATM building. This was a heavily populated bank. Yeah, there was a lot of villagers back in here at the time. But yeah, you got houses. Lots of houses going on. It also extends down this way. It goes down in here. You got schools and libraries. The the pier, and you got the uh, clock tower, mining corp, potion corp, hospital. Another little town right here. So I guess some more buildings within the city. There's like a Walmart. I don't know what we call it Walmart. Yeah, we called it a Walmart. Oh, where you can get everything here. Go upstairs. I don't even know what upstairs is. I don't even know. It's, I don't know why it's there. Oh, I think it's a, yeah, it's a house. It's supposed to be a house, Emerald House. <laughs> uh, the builds that I did back in the day. Uh, trying to remember all this stuff. Little apartment building, I guess. Yeah, you know. Oh, this was the uh, building for all of us to live, wasn't it? Yeah, the owners' homes. There should be uh, me, me, Olivia, Julia, and. Yeah, me, Olivia, Julia, and Amy. Nick wasn't included in this. <laughs> but yeah, Olivia and Julia don't really play anymore. This was the crypt to the end. I had to find a thing. This is the schoolhouse. Big school building. Very big. That took a while to make, too. It's four floors, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. A lot of, a lot of room. Uh, another castle. Playing with the beacons and stuff going on here too. Now over to this bridge takes us over. This is Olivia's supposed land, but we never really used that. She never really got on to use it, so no purpose for that. This was the second area, I, or I guess third area I came up with, which was the plantation. I didn't know what to do with the jungle, so I turned it into like a mossy. They have a wall here, and you have the capital or like the, the village tribe building. You got head chief. I don't even know if they're in here anymore. Probably not. Oh, well. There's one guy. I don't know what happens. Yeah, well, but yeah, this is... And you can just fly around and check it out. There's just a couple tribes here and there. Just scattered about. Different tribes, villages, and stuff scattered around. You got this little pillar in the middle. Stuff down here, too. The lighthouse. And stuff like that. You know, this little thing. 
Then came the underwater tunnel that took us over to the Pima Slavia land. And this is where things started to change. Now I'll show you what it's going to be like up and on. I'm going to show you some things that were in the old video. Then I'm going to sh point out different things that weren't in there before we get to all the different stuff. So let's get rid of that. I know this was in the old village. This is Silver City, one of the first cities that was here. A little bit more old-fashioned, using a ton of quartz, stuff like that. So, Silver City. Simplistic design. Um, like, we'll, go we'll go over here first. This is a little watchtower. This is another village. Our villagers trying to get across, but we'll block them out. Watchtower. This was the tennis arena, villager tennis arena we had built. This is one village called Brockton. Brockton Lost, one of the first ones. This was the logout center, which we don't really use, but if I were to go on vacation or something, I would go in here, put all my stuff in a chest, log out, be in there. Another village up at the top, Mesquieu, Mescal, or whatever it's called, up in here. Um, this is a new building, and I built these scattered about. They're like military bases. So this is the air center east, and there's also an air center west. So it's sort of like military centers to keep a watch on things. This building was here before. It's the uh, compass, so it uses the F3 coordinates and tells you like which which door you go out and you get your cardinal direction, which way you're supposed to go. And this is the original village that was here, and the original villagers are not in it. I don't think. I don't know who these villagers are. I'm not really sure. But this, okay. Let's start over here. Uh, yeah, we'll start over here. We'll start with this. This is the post office, shipping company, right here. So this new. This is the school for all of Pimo Slavia, the Pimo Slavia High School. There is one I'll show you later that is over in Northwest Territory, which is a new build, new place. But this is the high school that everybody can go to from all around. So, see, it's uh, quite heavily populated. There's a lot of rooms in this one. This is the underground transport center, underground like subway type area. It only goes over to the Northwest Territory, or not the. It only goes over to the outskirts but I'm planning on making it over to the new area which is the Northwest Territory very soon hopefully the next thing I try to do maybe like an underground subway so you don't have to travel above ground all the way you can go underground and take it um, this is also new this is just like you press the button fireworks go off above the Capitol building Capitol building is not new this is new this is the Army Center Army HQ yeah head army offices of Pima Slavia there's also the Army Center over there but we'll talk about that when we get there that's Amy's land over here that she used to use this is not new. This is the uh, village trading post, like little shops, whatever we call this place, the uh, shopping district. This is the wool company. This is where the uh, wool is made, and then it can get funneled over into making carpet and over to the carpet shippers and carpet installers. I don't remember if this was here or not, but this is just a little build. This is the mining corporation. I know this wasn't here. So you have one that goes directly underground. You can go mine, and you have two quarries over here. We'll get to this in a second. First, we'll head up here. This is the Capitol building. Nothing has really changed with the Capitol building. Same stuff. And I guess we'll go to here next. This is the Air Center West, I think. Yeah, this is the Western Air Center from the Eastern Air Center. Now, this is Crosstown. This was the old city that was like in a war, put up like a story behind it, like a war bombed area. Old gun out. There's still a, the presidents in here. And then you got the new area, which has been built up, new little city lines. And this is a nuclear reactor, so. Yeah, don't want the nuclear reactor to go off. But yeah, you got little houses and apartments. Now, this leads us over to one of the newer things and big things, which is the Pimo Slavia outskirts. Now, what I thought about was I wanted to keep all the desert, anything that was desert in Pimo Slavia, in general, the whole white country. So we saw this, and I was like, what am I going to do with it? So I turned it into a more of a city thing. And welcome to the Pima, population of Pima. Welcome to the largest population of Pima Slavia, largest city in the lands. Enjoy your stay. So you go, the city part is called Clover Lake. And also, if you go over here, you got a little guard tower. This is the sky rail that takes you all the way across Clover Lake into the other side of the thing, to the lake itself. Then up here you have the governor, or mayor, Mayor Griswold. In here, chilling. And this will not be the largest city in the land soon, but we'll get to that in a minute. But we'll start over here. Church of Notch. Got some stuff on here. This should be the mining. 
This is the Clover Mining Company. Corey's again, up on the ground. And you got tower to protect from over there. You got tons of houses. This is more of a housing complex. Tons and tons of houses and buildings going on here. You have the Church of Notch. You have the meeting hall, which is that blue building right there. You got more houses and shops and businesses and National Bank. More houses and houses. That's the elementary school. And when you're done elementary school, over to high school. You got more houses in here. I'm not really sure what is that building. That's probably an apartment complex. Diamond Suites complex. Yeah, you got more. This is a shipping company out. That's the jail and death trap center. You got more houses. More houses and you got the farm and you got more stuff in here. It's that the uh, cooking pros. You got more shops. More houses. The farm. Got more stuff over here. This is the uh, trash center. You got more houses and houses and houses and houses and lots of houses. This is the lake itself. That's where it comes over to this side of town. This is the lake. You can go swimming, beach access. More housing over here. Beach houses. We didn't want to get rid of the temple, so we left the temple in there and put a beacon out the middle. More houses. More houses around. You got city hall. If you go down this way, there are also more houses down here. You got a dock where you can boat launch. You got the uh, lighthouse here. You also got the access to the Cahydra Ocean, Subterranean River. This river goes all the way over to the Northwest Territory, which I'm going to show you next. These are all houses and stuff. This was the last building that I built here, this last complex, which was the Spirit Towers, Fire, Water, Wind, and Earth. That was the last thing that was built here before it was, I guess that's not even equal, is it? Oh well. Whoops. Yeah, but we got a bunch of houses here, and that is basically it. Water tower, houses, houses. And where we had that, uh, we got the Christmas tree in. Where the, uh, you saw the underground subway thing, this is where it comes out to right here, this pink building. And we're going to try to branch that over. So that is it for the Clover, like, the Clover City, and it's a huge area. But it's not going to be the biggest city anymore. And I'll show you why. Coming up here, this is Julia's third land, and Nick got a hold of this as well. Right now, the only thing left I just built in this land is a highway going straight across it so you can connect the Northwest Territory over to this land over here, and then you can easily get over into the city itself. So now we can go over here. This has been here before. This was old. This is, we've already seen this before. We can go over to here, and the shipping company... I'm not going to explain it again because it was in the old video if you want to check out the old video. But this is the shipping company that was massive project that took forever to make. I mean forever to think. To place all these blocks straight up had to be done. Boop, 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 boop. Took forever. You know, every, nothing's really changed with this. Door's open. But, yeah. So that is. Um, the Wither Arena, still same old thing. I can get in there. Yeah, same old with everything. It's one three at a time. Pretty much with that. This is the naval base of the army. I'll show you where all this comes from in a second. And this is the outpost. Now, before exposing anything too much over here, this was Julia's second land that was bombarded by Nick and forced her to move again. But this part would have been part of the Northwest Territory if it was still here, but now it's just a monument. So now we will take you into the Northwest Territory, which is now this. So the Northwest Territory is going to be composed of a bunch of different areas, and this is what I'm currently working on, and I'll show you, like, where I am, but this is the base where, like, we had, like, we're, we're going through, like, a, a trying to make, what am I trying to say here, <laughs> stumbling over words, trying to make it like there was Native Americans here, and now we came over and populated the land, and this is basically, like, a little tower, and, like, the founder of this place landed here, and this is his land, so we're going to go through this a little bit more in depth because it's what I'm currently working on, and if you guys have any ideas you comment down below if you want to see like any builds or stuff but normally I just play this on my free time and just try to build this place up but this is the Fimo Slavian library it's domed and everything you know, crazy stuff it's a building this is the disposal system so first we'll go straight down this road disposal system this is the Hopewell Shrimping Company of Eastern Eastern Branch this is channel 40 news and if you go over to this side you can see the big 40 at the top New center. Um, you come over to here. This is the disaster center, so you have all the people on there. 
that like control letter managing like floods and hurricanes, tornadoes, natural disasters. This is the mining company. Manages all like the ores, like you can see diamond ores, then here manages all the ores. This is the School of Honor Fighting School. This is the mail center, so for every city there is in Pimo Slavia, and plus other things, this is where the mail goes. We got lighting. Now this is the village tribe that we're trying to play out as the first people that were here. And this is the Yaus Coast. So this is what this is. And I'll get over to there in a second. But I guess we'll go back down to here and go down this road. This is the Alchemy School. Right here, you can learn how to brew. Got an iron patrolling thing. This is the new Pima Slavian Congress in the Capitol Building for the Northwest Territory. Because it is its own city. Now, there was one here and we had to get rid of it because a lot of these representatives and senators were breaking through the walls and spawning as iron golems with the amount of water in here. There's obviously nobody left in here for some reason. I don't know how they're getting out, but they are, or dying. But yeah, you got the president up here. I don't even, there's no president in here anymore. I don't know if that's probably the president right there. You should, I don't know. Things just go havoc in here, so it's not efficient. But you got a little clock tower on the top and everything. Now, what I'm also trying to do with this city is take every item in the creative inventory and make it like there's a manager for it. So, like, this is the potion center. Every potion has its own floor, and each potion is managed. Like, this one does, like, base creations, and, you know, it goes up. You have equipment, you got regen, swiftness potions, resistance, poison, and each one has its, like, own management center. This is the biggest environment the environmental center is the biggest building and you will see as we go up here we're at the bottom is 63 this goes up to 214 blocks high so most of these are involved with keeping the trees inside but every plant that is in the environment center is in this building and is being managed inside here and easily exceeds all the way up to here and this is the biggest building that is here so far so that is, I don't think anybody's, any other building I'm going to build is going to supersede that, but that's a wild to build, just because it's so tall. And I play this block level, I don't use any, like, world dead or anything like that, it's block by block. Every building you see here is block by block. Everything, block by block. This is the school building, for grades 1 through 12. Now you can either go here for high school, or you can go over there, most students will go over there. This is one of the newer builds, this is the meeting house and courthouse. And here it's nice. It's the biggest here. It has the flag in the back. Also has stands at the top. So this is the meeting house or courthouse, whatever you want to call it. Nice building, honestly. It's like in the middle of town. It's like Philadelphia. I can imagine like you have this nice courthouse building in the middle of all the big, massive buildings that are around it. Um, this is the banner company. This is the trademark company. So L Trademark Center. This is where the visitors come in. You can get a boat dock, you have a visitor dock here. Both of these buildings are the other environment. They're, the plants are in the big building. These are the rest of the environmental stuff in this white building here, two centers, A and B. This one is the building agency, so it like manages all the buildings and coding that goes along with building each one of these buildings and houses that will be included later. This building, these are one of the newest ones I built, the wool center was the new one that I built, just built it up. The clay center goes up, they're pretty tall. They're up here, yeah, they're way up there. And also the wood center. So these are the three newest ones on the block. Um, this is the bank, the bank of Pimislami, right here. This is the hospital. This is the government buildings agency, so like all the government agencies that you'd find with our executive branch of government in the United States. This is the water facility. This is the jail. Simple jail. You know, classic guards and everything in there. These are land plots that I haven't filled yet. These are going to be buildings. Like, I have everything planned out for what I want to build. Like, this will be all the rock center and in the chest is what I need to build them. So I just didn't get to these yet. These are next on the project line just to add in here. They're going to be big, too. This design is the World Trade Center. And I was going after the One World Trade Center in New York City. Trying to model after it, and it didn't turn out too bad. It's kind of small, but it didn't turn out bad. But yeah, it's just the World Trade Center. Nice little building. Looks cool. Landmark, more than anything, it's more of a landmark building. This is the polling center where you can go in and cast your votes. You know what to build in this little tiny slot. It was all originally just all leaves, and I was like, you know what, we could probably build something here. And then I guess we can extend over 
here on this side of the strip. This goes into the uh, snow halt lands, so we don't want to go there. But there's big main. There's a couple main roads here. Highway 62 goes from all the way back there where you saw it. It carries out back to Highway 40. Highway 40 is that big black road that I'm going to show you in a second that goes from one end of Pimos, one end of Northwest Territory, all the way to the other end. And then the main road we were on is like 79. It's that first main road when you come right in. This is the Hopewell Sherman Company in the south building. So this all goes out of there. Um, all the government buildings and like landmark buildings are made, of course. So we'll do this first. These were recent builds as well. This is the street department for the Northwest Territory. And this is the street department for Pimo Slavia itself. So the, the town, the city street department versus the national street department. And they all meet together up here, and like you have one big meeting room, but you know there's offices and stuff. Otherwise, in there, um, these are all plots that I haven't filled yet. We have the tree over there, but these are all plots. The plots that don't have signs or chest on them are ones that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. I don't know what I'm gonna do with over there either. Probably housing, but when I run out of ideas for like non-housing buildings, like commercial buildings, I'm gonna have to start building residential buildings with hotels and stuff. But I'll show you where I want to put those. So you have the materials center be coming up. Gem combat tools. What was this one? Dies. Food administration. It's me a smaller one. But every road has a name. Like this is Second Avenue. We got Broad Street. Directional signs. And you got more stuff. This is the Church of Herobrine. So dark black. Nothing special with this one. This one is the Church of Notch. Looks a lot more nice and intriguing. Now, over here was one of the more recent buildings. First, this is the crypt. You have the crypt under here, and you have the graveyard. Yeah. This is one of the more recent builds. This is Vernon Island, which is where the military base is. So you see all those military centers back over in mainland Pimoslavia. This is where the military headquarters are. It's an island that I... Well, most of this was already here. You have this river going through here, which is sign say. The river goes this way. This is a bay. Um, what river was this? The Tybalt River. And the city's called Tybalt City. Tybalt River goes through here. Winds under. It goes all the way around. All the way. You'll see like, it goes into the snow hall. All the way around. So yeah, this is where all the military stuff goes on. There's centers and everything. And the housing management. And I dug this little canal here just to make sure it's its own island. So yeah, it's a cool build. Where the military of Pimoslavia will hide out. Now this black road is Highway 40, like I was saying, it goes from there, Highway 79 at the end, and continues all the way down this way. This way, I have no idea what I'm going to build, probably residential, and if you look to the other side, I have a bridge here and a bridge here, I do know, what did I call this place? I'm not entirely sure what I even called this. Fallsdale. This is Fallsdale here. This is going to be residential stuff, and there's a wall before it goes into the swamp area. So this will be a residential building. This will probably be residential too, depending on how I want the roads to go, and that'll be residential. We'll get to that in a second. But you got the tree here, and this is the lower court, the appellate court, lower court area, smaller. And this is the conference center, so that each there's each conference room that you can go rent out. And then there's more land plots that are over here. I haven't figured out what I want to do with these four here. Um, this one is going to be a mall. And this one is going to be the storage facility. So like the one over there, this is going to be storage. That's going to be a mall. Um, or I might flip them. I'm not really sure. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But thought processes are ticking. This is the arena. Simple design. Little fighting arena. Very basic. Then this goes over here into the offset. So that is everything for the city. That itself over here is the city. Once you cross the river, it's not part of the city anymore. So this is going to the Red Lake suburbs because that is called Red Lake right there. This is Tybalt City. So this is the Red Lake suburbs. This is the town. This is the little village that was here with the highway around it. We're going to build housing around it. And that, that's Red Lake. And we're going to build housing all around this area and so forth. So this is going to be the next plot of land. We're going to continue with I don't know what we're going to do with the uh, spawner there. But this is basically it. For as much as I've been doing. Yeah, we'll turn this all into residential. 
That's still the Tibble River that goes all the way winding through. And this will be where it ends. And then I'll go into the woods, the Snow Halt woods. And we might, I'm either going to, I'm thinking about two things. Whether to build a bridge over to this, I checked this out, this is an island. Build a bridge over to this island and build something on the island. But if you go on this island, it leads in the mainland over here. And then it just goes on and on and on and on. So I'm not sure if I wanted to do that. Or go back over to Catahome Island and go across that bridge and build a bridge over there and see if we can do anything with that and turn that land. Why is it raining in the desert? Okay. And turn that. Okay. And turn that land into something built. But there's still a lot of work I have to do with Pimo Slavia. But I just wanted to show it to you guys. So after two years on YouTube, this is how this place developed. So I'm just showing you, like, I've taken breaks from Minecraft and everything. But this is how the place is looking. I'm continuously building new buildings every day on here, progressively building new stuff up. So it's really fun to do, and this is basically an insight on what I do when I'm not recording and I want to play Minecraft. This is how it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to slap that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below if you have any ideas for my creative builds. If you want to see some videos, maybe you can comment down below and get enough likes. You can. I might record some videos of my creative builds, but they're probably just going to be like speed builds and stuff like that because I don't do a lot of talking when I'm building. I play music and I just build. That's how it goes. Put on Pandora and start building. And if you haven't subscribed, I would highly suggest you're going to do so. There's also going to be an annotation at the end here. If you want to go check out that older video and compare it to how this land looks now, we would greatly appreciate if you go check out that video so you could see the drastic difference of how this land looked before I put a lot of this stuff in it, and mainly two years ago. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.